It's almost time for the meat chickens to go to freezer camp, which means I have to empty the freezer. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna get some turkey leg bones going in the big roaster here. And once I get those done, I'm gonna let them cook for, it's gonna be probably two days. When the broth is done, you can either pressure can it or I'm gonna freeze dry it. I really like using this freeze dried broth because it has completely eradicated my use of store bought canned broth, bouillon cubes, things like that, because I use a lot of it in cooking. So this is an easy way to use up some of those carcass materials. And a bonus here, I'm gonna be able to make supper with some of the meat that comes off of these turkey bones. So we're gonna get that started. A few months ago when we butchered the turkeys, we actually field dressed them. We didn't really have a good way to scald them, pluck them, all of those good things. But in addition to the breasts, we kept the legs. And we don't really like dark meat. So smoking these is not really gonna be a good option for us. But I can take that leg meat and mix it into a casserole and nobody will know the difference. And these are the last four legs that I have and because this is such a big pot, I'm gonna do all four. I'm gonna put the lid on this and let it warm up for a few minutes. I harvested this celery this morning from the garden. It's a little small, but that's okay. It tastes like celery and it'll do what we need it to do. So I just gave that a rough chop, chopped it right in half, and I'm going to toss it straight into the pot. And I've had this on about 400 for a little while. I kinda roast some. That's gonna be great there. Again, nothing special. I just need to make sure there's room for everything. Normally when I'm cooking, I will save onion skins for this, but I don't have any in the freezer right now. And what you can do is when you're cooking, as you peel these onions, you just toss it into a freezer bag, stick it in the freezer, and when you get ready to make broth, you have it. I've used all of that on other broth, so I have to do whole onions. And the carrots, I'm not even going to bother peeling them. If there's any bad spots, I do cut those off. And then I just rough chop and toss them in. I don't even think you have to peel off these, cut off these ends. I just do because I don't like the way they look. just to make sure I have, have it in several locations in the pot. And I'm going to need you to get those chickens out of the house, okay? And I'm going to put in a little bit of kosher salt. I'm not going to go overboard because we are going to be freeze drying this and in the past, when I've done that, it gets a little salty, so I'm only gonna do about a teaspoon and a half, maybe half a tablespoon. Sometimes I put peppercorn in if I have them. I can't find them right now, so I'm just gonna leave those out. I like to use some sort of filtered water. Try not to use tap water for this and we're just gonna pour it in there. You wanna make sure everything is covered. This is probably gonna take closer to two gallons. And then we'll just come back and keep checking on this. By this afternoon, the meat should be cooked. We'll pull it off, put it in a casserole, and then we'll have supper. 
And when we pull that meat off, we'll just put those bones back in there. I almost forgot, we want to put about a tablespoon or two of apple cider vinegar in this. Just kind of helps draw those nutrients out of the bones. And that's it. We'll come back, make sure, just make sure it stays stirred, make sure it has plenty of water. But I'm just going to run this on about 215 for the next two days and uh, we'll have some beautiful turkey broth by the time it's all said and done with. All right, this has been cooking for about 36 hours now. We had some of that meat for dinner last night. It was really good. I'm going to skim all this stuff off, strain it, and put it into some jars to cool. And then in the next day or so, it'll go in the freeze dryer. Okay, we wound up with three half gallon jars, five quart jars, and a, almost a full pint jar. And my teenager actually drank a mug of it. So it would have been close to four gallons, three gallons. It would have been close to three gallons. As it is, I've got one, two and a half, two and three quarters gallons of turkey bone broth here. It's going to go into the freeze dryer and be awesome soup base and whatnot for the next three or four months.